dynasty of thieves. Dynasty of thieves, yes. They cancelled purchase uh, of uh, 5 billion Naira presidential yacht. Northern Elders tells Tinubu, you have to stop this now. Even Omo Elisho Ware have spoken, Northern Elders have spoken, like seriously, so Nigeria is now at the edge of the sea. So we all uh, get to ensure that uh, we have our boats and our canoes ready for the presidency is a yacht, right? Really? Really? So Northern Elders have spoken with regards to this uh, Tinubu's magnificent uh, yacht that he wants to have. You see, uh, when the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. Nigerians have been speaking out, asking, how did we get here? What exactly is going on? You know, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. The dynasty of thieves purchase of 5 billion Naira presidential yacht. Northern elder Shewu Sani tells Tinubu, hmm, be careful. Shewu Sani, a northern elder, a former Kaduna Central Senator, has urged President Tinubu to cancel the purchase of the 5 billion Naira presidential yacht immediately. What do you think you are doing? What do you really think you're doing? You tell Nigerians to tighten their belts, that the times is hard, yet you put aside for yourself 5 billion naira to purchase a yash? Sheh Usani said this is uncalled for. When Nigerians are being impoverished, the masses are suffering, the president is, 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 is squandering money, living, in the best, living the best life, this is terrible. Daily Post has said that part of the expenditure proposed for the 2023 supplementary budget the president submitted to the National Assembly for approval include a proposal to spend 5 billion 95 million on a presidential yacht. The news of this has continued to spur up a lot of reaction. The president should withdraw immediately and can withdraw it immediately from the National Assembly and cancel the purchase of this 5 billion Naira presidential yacht. The poor masses are struggling. People cannot even feed. Yet, the president is going about buying the best of things for himself. How did we get here? As a nation, as a people, we must be careful. In the, in the heat of the deprivation and poverty the people are going through, what Sinubu wants? is a yacht. The Northern Elders have called on President Tinubu to rise up immediately and to do all in his power to assure Nigerians and to do what he can to save the people because everyone is watching. On his part, Moyele Showore has also accused Tinubu of using Nigeria as a den of thieves, saying, you want to now fulfill your dream. You have the money. Why didn't you purchase it on your own before now? Why didn't you purchase it before now? They want to buy a presidential yacht for 5 billion naira for a man who has never been, uh, who has never been in, in the mainstream, have no source of income, a clear source of income. They want to renovate a presidential lounge in Lagos for 4 billion for a man who just built a mansion in Lagos that's that's, that stretches from Balodium to the Queen's Drive in Ikoyi. Aha. Nigerians, this is unbelievable. This is a real joke. And Tinubu must tell us what is going on. The son has properties in Europe and America. Shei Tinubu sneaking into FCT meetings and directing ministers where to stay. This is a real joke. Tinubu should tell Nigerians what he means by what he's doing right now. So this is what is happening. You know, Northern Elders have come into the matter. Moyele uh, Showore has also reacted. Nigerians are saying, this is wrong. This is wrong. So, so wrong. You know, how did we get here in the first place? Just how did we get here in the first place? What exactly is going on? What exactly is happening? How did we get here in the first place? So these are very, very difficult times ahead of us. You know, with President Tinubu telling the world that he needs a yacht or telling Nigerians that he needs a yacht. And should I tell you something? If the cry of Nigerians get louder, 
they may buy it without your knowledge. If not, they will. If not, the cause of Nigeria get louder, they will buy it without your knowledge. If not, the National Assembly will still will approve it. So whichever way, let's keep speaking, let's keep talking, but it will be approved. Uh, that's what I'm just trying to, that's the point I'm trying to make. It will definitely and still be approved. Despite, in spite of all that is going on, they will still buy it. Okay, so this is the Nigeria for you. This is the Nigeria for you. The Nigeria we have come to see. The Nigeria we all know today. If we want things to be better, we want this nation to move forward. It is, it is terrible. Okay, it is terrible that these things are happening. That these things are happening. APC is, is telling Nigerians that the yacht is not a luxury. Oh, that it's not a luxury. It's so that the president will be able to assess the, the Navy. And I say, really? Say yes. I say, really? Say yes. The president is spending $1.5 on only the first lady's cars. $1.5 billion on just on the first lady. Or oh, this is just on the first lady. $1.5 billion. Okay? That's on just on the first lady. So these are things that are going on and every single person can see that until things become different, we don't know how we're going to be changing some of these things. Nigerians, it is important, okay, that we change these things and that Nigeria becomes a better place, okay? We need to rise up, okay? We need to, we need to rise up and ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. All these things going on, this is oppression of the masses. What exactly did we do to these people to deliver, to get this kind of, you know, this kind of government? Okay, what did we do? What did we do to get this kind of government? Selfishness at the peak. It is shameful. It is shameful. Very, very shameful. And every single person needs to understand this, that immediately we need to begin to arise and let the world know what exactly is going on here. This is the worst of the days in Nigerian history. We are in the so if there was no if you are, if you are saying you want a yash now because everything the, the things are difficult then if there is no poverty what will not happen? If there is no poverty what will not happen? There is no poverty everything so what will happen? Eh? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button. So you can get all our latest news. Remember you have a voice. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Bye for now.